technically, um, after a traumatic event, a chemical tag um, can attach to our DNA. Uh, it's like it's a signal in a sense, and it tells the cell to ignore a gene or use a gene or turn up this material, turn down this material. And then the way that our genes are affected can change how we act or feel. For example, we can become reactive to situations that are uh, similar to an original trauma that happened even before we were born and give us the tools to deal with it better. Let's say our parents, let's say our grandparents came from a war-torn country and you know, there's bombs going off and bullets flying and mishelm everywhere and um, they could pass forward a skill set which is positive, sharper reflexes, quicker reaction times to help us survive the trauma that they experience. Now, the problem comes is that, you know, if we're born in um, suburbia and we don't have a need for these tools, we can inherit a stress response with the dials turned up to 10, let's say, and we're prepared for a catastrophe that never never arrives. And then this continuous stress um, can be harmful to our bodies. So these gene changes as we're learning are both positive and negative, hmm. and we're, they can be transmitted to our children and our grandchildren 